In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the new Boris AAF Transfer plugin for Final Cut Pro and Avid Media Composer. Boris AAF Transfer is a custom plugin for Final Cut Pro that lets you export AAF files from Final Cut Pro sequences for import into Avid Media Composer. This gives you the ability to continue editing your project in Avid as a live sequence, preserving media, markers, cuts, dissolves, filters, and audio. This means that editors who use multiple platforms can now easily transfer projects between multiple systems. Suppose you need to edit a project that was created in Final Cut and you prefer to work in Avid. Boris AAF Transfer will let you edit that FCP project on any machine running Avid, regardless of whether the OS is Mac or Windows. Okay, so let's take a look at the Boris AAF Transfer in action. I've got a timeline here in Final Cut. You can see lots of different clips and transitions and edits and effects and I'm going to explain what's going on here. Uh, first of course we've got a Artbeats logo on top of the Artbeats footage, so not a coincidence. And then I've got a fade in on some text. You'll also notice I've got some audio going on here. So we have the text, we have a sub clip underneath the text, uh, another cross dissolve, moving forward another cross dissolve on a trimmed clip. We have a fade in fade out effect between these two clips here. And then we have like a picture in picture effect done using the final cut position and scale parameters and you can see that this, this has been animated so we've got an animated effect here which transitions into another clip which also animates off the screen then they all fade off together into a multi-clip just to prove it's a multi-clip here you can see that and this is a uh, standard multi-clip we've got a Washington theme going on Moving down the line, okay, another cross dissolve onto some footage firm footage, so different company here, just to be all legally accurate. We have a lot of PNG files stacked on top of each other. You can see that they are maintaining transparency there, so that looks nice. Next, we have a fade in on a clip that has a speed change, so this has been slowed down to 80%. It's also got a third party plugin. Now look at the filter list here. We're using BCC Boost Blend, and this filter is not only animated, but it also uses an input well. So we have a lot going on here, and I want to point out that the Boris AAF Transfer is the only plugin that will actually take your BCC effects from Final Cut into Avid. So that's a pretty major point there. We have a BCC transition next, the Swish Pan transition, which is a pretty cool looking wipe effect which ends up on this clip of Boston with the BCC colorized glow. Again, these are all BCC effects, uh, which we are hoping to take into Avid. Okay, so we have this nice footage here. Again, footage firm footage. And then the Boston shot dissolves into a brick wall. It's actually a generator, a BCC generator. And it looks like tiles because that's the preset that we use. So we're using presets, we're using generators, we're using transitions. A lot of stuff going on. After that, we have a nested sequence here. You can see uh, this time we've gone from Washington to just, I don't know, family values. So another multi-clip type effect here using a nested sequence. Next, we've got another type of transition, center wipe here. And we've got another speed change. So we've got these girls that are just, you know, peacefully running through the field. Life is great. Nothing could go wrong today. Oh, no, it's Freddy. Run. Because, you know, they look like the girls in the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, the ones singing that creepy song. Anyway, the whole point here is that there's uh, two speed changes there. So another case of speed changes. And then finally, we have this clip, which is using an alpha channel. So this is video with a native alpha channel, and we are the only plugin that will take this from Final Cut into Avid using AAF Transfer. So let's see how well the Boris AAF does with all this. I'll just leave it there because, you know, why not? All right, moving into the browser here, you want to select the sequence that you are using and go to File, Export, and select Boris AAF Transfer. Next, make sure that your file name is something that you'll remember. I'm going to save it into the AAF Tutorial folder. And then I've got these other settings here. Notice it says Avid Project Settings. You want to make sure that your settings are going to match your Avid Project. So that's all set. 
the compressor I could change if I wanted to I don't want to so I'm gonna leave that alone I could ignore the audio if I wanted to I don't want to so I won't but I could next uh, going into the effects tab here um, suppose Avid doesn't have some of these transitions I can have it replace them with a standard dissolve which is a cool feature and I can also get a log of any errors that occur in the transfer process if there are errors okay so we've got all that everything looks good I'm going to just hit export and in just a few short seconds I have created the AAF file so I've got a totally blank Avid project here nothing in my bins nothing up my sleeve right so I'm going to import that same file I just created so transfer AAF okay and it's already loaded into my Avid bin now I've got all the media file names here but not the actual media so if I click on this sequence here and I load it into the timeline okay you can see I've got all my cuts I've got all my transitions um, all the timing is correct even the filters I mean if I go here like look there's the generator but anything that's actual media is missing so you have to use a bit of an Avid workflow now you have to select your entire bin and then um, do a batch import so offline only is what you want and any file that shows up in red means it has to be relinked so I'm going to find where that file was here it is and I'm just gonna relink these now the good news is anything in black has already been found by Avid and doesn't need any further assistance from you so that really wasn't too bad was it now I'm just gonna hit import and maybe I'll go I don't know get a drink of water or ride a bike or you know maybe I won't go too far at all if I don't have that much media to import so this could take a minute or two I'm going to cut to when it is completed and we'll go from there and we're back and as you can see all the media came forward perfectly there's the audio except we are missing the title now it's not actually missing it's just repositioned so there's a small workaround for this just go into your edit title tab here you don't want to promote to a marquee and all you have to do is just reposition the text so it shows up in Avid it's a workaround um, and it's unavoidable unfortunately so however it takes very little time to correct and as you can see now it is back to its uh, perfect state so we have our text and we have our Artbeats logo and our sub clip and we have our transitions and our other transitions and our picture in picture effect with all the animation we have our multi clip we have our other transitions we have the PNG files stacked on top of each other here we have the Boris effect I was talking about so here's the uh, boost blend here's the swish pan here's the colorized glow and again these are live effects so I can go into the uh, effect editor and change them so maybe I decided I wanted less glow after all I could bring that way down so these are all still live and editable which is of course the whole point that you can still work on your project now that you are in Avid further down we've got the nested sequence and the speed changes and of course last but not least we have our alpha transparency and again this is uh, not only video alpha but still image alpha comes forward perfectly with the Boris AAF transfer and that is a unique feature of our plugin so uh, a big important note there as well as the third-party BCC effects which come forward as well so it's a great tool to help you with your workflow if you have to work with multiple formats or multiple systems and you can try it for free if you download the trial version from our website and that's at borisfx.com